Hi everyone, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp partner specializing in MailChimp training and consulting. I've been asked a lot over the last week or two how people can get better results from their emails sent from WordPress and in particular WooCommerce, but WordPress and WooCommerce. You see, last week one of the very big transactional email providers had a security breach. So a lot of people are looking to go to MailChimp, for example, for their transactional email. MailChimp has very reliable transactional email service. But what is transactional email? Well, I deal in two types of, well, I work with two types of emails, email marketing and transactional emails. The difference is that email marketing is one to many. So you send to many people, the same message to many people. Transactional is one to one. Transactional is typically system generated, such as an invoice, maybe uh, maybe it's a confirmation of a purchase, something like that. So it's one to one. Whereas uh, marketing email is permission based. In other words, people have to be allowed to unsubscribe, click an unsubscribe uh, link. And marketing emails is one to many. We send the same message to many people. Just going into WordPress a little bit. Now, WordPress is often hosted on what's termed shared web hosting. Shared web hosting is where many people share the same server. Many people might have WordPress instances or other websites on the same server. The problem is if you're sending your email from a shared host, a shared server, which with MailChimp, many, many people do, WooCommerce and, and WordPress, many people do, you're relying on the reputation of everyone else being good from that server. Because when we send an email, one of the things that spam filters look for is they look at the IP address or the sending server when an email comes in and it says, okay, is that IP address, that server a known uh, sender of spam or not? So if maybe the server that you share your website with and you don't know who you share it with, if they're sending, um, you know, violence related content or anything that's marked as spam, your emails suffer as well when they send from WordPress. But what we can do in WordPress is we can very easily configure it to use transactional email. I've been doing this for years and I encourage all my uh, WordPress and, and WooCommerce clients to do this. Don't rely on your server sending emails, which is the default with WordPress, rather use a transactional email service. Now, there are a lot of transactional email services, a lot of very good ones out there. There's AWS S3, there's MailGun, uh, Postmark app. There are many good ones. I just like MailChimp. I know it well, and it's extremely simple to set up for WordPress and very reliable. Your emails will get through if you use MailChimp transactional email sending. So in this video, in these instructions, I'm going to show how to, how to set up your WordPress um, so that it uses MailChimp to send your transactional emails. And, and again, the benefits are huge. You've got a far better chance of your emails getting through spam filters uh, and, and people actually receiving them. And it, particularly if you're using, for example, a store such as WooCommerce, you must, you really must, for reliability reasons, be using a transactional email service. So there are two parts we're going to do in this, uh, in this tutorial. I'm going to show you the details we need to get from Mandrill itself. I'll create a different video at some stage on how to actually set up Mandrill itself. It's pretty simple though. MailChimp leads you through what to do. I'll then go into WordPress itself, show you a plugin you can add and the details you need to add. It, it literally takes a few minutes and uh, you'll be, you know, getting your emails through um, to your end users. But also if people are filling in a contact form that sends to you, it won't get caught in, in junk and spam filters and so on. So let's go across to uh, to my uh, my demo account in, in MailChimp. Um, I've also then just got a, a, a demo WordPress install with WooCommerce. But the first thing is in MailChimp to access uh, transactional email, it used to be called Mandrill, but nowadays it's called transactional email. Uh, all we do is we click on the automations menu item and you'll see transactional email there. So we just click transactional email. 
And if you haven't already set up Mandrel or transactional email in MailChimp, you'll be able to do it here. But for now, because I have set it up, um, I, I'm just going to click launch app. And MailChimp gives us the pop-up just saying that the names change from uh, Mandrel to, to transactional email. So we'll continue. I'll click continue to Mandrel. Takes me to, to a new tab. And there's various information here. Now, as I said, I have set this up in the past. I'm going to click on settings. I'm clicking on settings. These are the details we are going to need for WordPress. We are also going to need an API key in Mandrel. So I'm going to click Add API Key. And uh, MailChimp, in this case, will automatically create an API key for me. So we'll be coming back to these details. And this was just in Mandrel under Settings. But let's go across to, to WordPress. So to enable high reliability transactional sending through through MailChimp uh, transactional emails is very simple. We just need to add a free plugin. So I'm going to add that plugin by clicking plugins, add new. And when the screen loads up, the look, there are many different uh, plugins you could use for WordPress for doing this, but I've just used this plugin for years. I love it. It's called WP Mail SMTP. Um, and MailChimp will just look for that plugin for me and I'll install that. So there it is there. It's a great plugin. I'll click install now. There's a free version, a paid version, but the free version will work fine for us. We'll wait for this to install and then we'll um, activate this plugin. So we'll just activate it. What this plugin does is it redirects from our default being using the server that WordPress or WooCommerce uses to send email to be something else. And in this case, it's uh, MailChimp transactional. So I'm going to go into WP Mail SMTP in my WordPress dashboard and click on settings. So this is a once off I just need to do. There's various information. You'll see various tabs on the top, but we're just concerned with the general tab. We need to just set it up with those details that MailChimp has given us. So I'll just scroll down the screen. The first thing is the from email address. I'll just change it. If it's not correct, you can change it here. Let's just do garysclass.com. Uh, I could change the from name. I don't know, MailChimp guy, let's say, whatever. You don't need to enable anything else. Now, as it says here, the default is PHP. You don't want that. That's when it's using your server to send. You really don't want that. Uh, various other transactional email uh, services are listed here. Mailgun, even AWS, etc., etc., etc. We're going to click on other SMTP. And if I scroll down the screen, you'll notice that MailChimp says, what is the host? Uh, etc and various other things but let's let's just do this let's go so the first thing is we want the host so if we go back to Mandrel itself or MailChimp transactional they give us the host MailChimp give us the host so I'm just going to copy that host smtp.mandrelapp.com come back into the WP Mail SMTP settings and where it says SMTP host I'll just paste it in I just know from experience, and this is just something you need to do because it's, it's not going to be told to you uh, anywhere else as far as I'm aware. You need to click TLS here. Click TLS and the SMTP port will automatically fill as 587. So just leave that. Okay, so I've provided that. I've clicked uh, TLS. You, you can enable authentication if it isn't enabled. Let's go back to MailChimp or Mandrel app in this case. SMTP username, we'll just copy that and I'll just go across and in the SMTP username field, I'll just paste it. Back, SMT password says any valid API key and a few minutes ago we created the key so we could just copy this key or you could create a new one but I'll just copy that key for now, come across and paste it in here. There we go and that's all we need to do. So I'll click save settings. So I've just got a pop up on my screen there. 
Okay, so we've saved everything. Settings were successfully saved. Send yourself a test email. So I've clicked email test and just send yourself one and I'll send it to on to sorry, send myself one on Gary's on Gary at Gary's class dot com. There we go. Um, you could make it HTML or just uh, plain text, but I'll just leave it as HTML. Send email and you can see it. Um, it was sent successfully. If there was a problem with the settings under the general tab, uh, this plugin will tell you here. So once it says uh, the email was sent successfully, merely go into your email inbox and check that you've actually received that email. Nice and easy. That's all you need to do. So from now onwards, whenever um, an email is sent, an order from uh, WooCommerce or an invoice, for example, or someone fills in your contact form, Gravity Forms, Contact Form 7, WP Forms, whatever, that email will now get through because the email won't send from your server. It's being sent from MailChimp Transactional Email, which is very high uh, very high quality and has a great chance of getting through spam filters and so on. But thanks very much for joining me. I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au.